Hello my dear learned friends, today uh, I am going to introduce about biology. This lecture is specially designed for the students of HS first year of AHSAC course and CBSC course. Before we enter into our syllabus, uh, we have to know about some basic things about biology. At first we have to know about the term biology. Biology, biology is a branch of science which generally deals with the study of living beings. This branch is otherwise known as life science. The word biology comes from two Greek words. These two words are bios, bios means living and another term is logos, logos means study. You see bios means living and logos means study. Therefore, biology is a branch of science which deals with the study of living beings. And in, the, in this branch, different types of life processes and the, about living organisms are studied. This branch biology generally categorized into two divisions. One is zoology. First one is zoology. Zoology means study of living animals and botany. Botany means study of living plants. This branch zoology otherwise called as animal science. And this division botany otherwise known as phytology. Here phyto means plants and logi or logos which comes from logos uh, means study of plants. The branch biology means the branch biology uh, which deals with the study of living beings. Living beings means animals, plants and any other microorganisms. That means study of organisms, living organisms. The term biology first coined by Lemar and Aristotle was regarded as the father of biology. Whereas, in case of also zoology, uh, Aristotle also regarded as also in the branch of uh, the branch of zoology uh, and Theophrastus regarded as the father of botany. If you see all these branches zoology botany are divisible into another two kinds of two categories of branches which are pure or fundamental branches and applied branches. These branches are generally based on the utilization of knowledge. First, I am going to discuss about fundamental branches.
fundamental branches or we called it as fundamental biology fundamental branches of biology fundamental branch means this branch includes all the basic knowledge uh, basic knowledge about the organism organism means three things it may be animal plant or may be microorganism these fundamental branches give us the basic knowledge basic knowledge about the organism or living beings as for example if you see there are several branches of fundamental biology it is also called called otherwise as pure biology fundamental or pure branches of biology first i am going to tell you about morphology first branch is morphology morphology means morphology means the study of external structures of organisms external structures means the structures we generally we observe by our eyes as for example we have hands feet nose etc these characters are morphological characters that means study of external character is called as morphology and if you see in case of plants there are different kinds of leaves there are branches there are different types of fruits all these are morphological characters in case of plants next anatomy anatomy means study of internal structure of an organism that means internal structure inside our body there are several structures present this branch studies the internal structure of both animals and plants and other organisms next one is cell biology or cytology cell biology or cytology these branches are related with cell that means study of cell is otherwise called as cell biology or cytology or cytology but there are little difference in these two branches cell biology means study of structure structural and functional aspects of cell and cytology means it is the microscopic study of cell that means study of the ultra structure of the cell therefore cell biology and cytology are what are related to study of cells next one is next one is histology histology means study of tissue it may be animal tissue or it may be plant tissue what do you mean by tissue tissue is a group of cell is it right tissue is a group of cell but in higher secondary level uh, the definition is become more large tissue tissue is a group of cell okay first thing first one thing is tissue is a group of cells with same embryonic origin which are structurally similar or maybe dissimilar but they collectively perform a similar kind of work then this type of group of cell this type of group of cell is called as tissue histology deals with the study of tissue of animals of plants etc next one is next one is physiology physiology means study of metabolism of organism what do you mean by metabolism metabolism means metabolism is a process 
What kind of process? It is the sum total of metabolism means the sum total of all the physiochemical reactions occur inside our body. Physiochemical reaction means in our body or in within a cell, there are different kinds of thousands of physicochemical reactions occur at the time. That means physical in our body, so suppose rising of temperatures is an example of uh, physical process, digestion, photosynthesis, what these are examples of chemical process. In photosynthesis, it is also a by physicochemical process. Therefore, all the physic all the physicochemical process that occurs within a cell or within our body is metabolism. And the study of metabolism is called as physiology. Next one is next one is genetics genetics means it is a branch a fundamental branch of which deals with the study of heredity and variation what is heredity heredity is the method or mechanism of transmission of characters from parent to offspring and variation means it is the differences of characters among the individuals of the same species or individuals develop from the same parents. Therefore, this branch deals with the mechanism study, uh, deals with the mechanism of transmission of characters, that means heredity and variation. Variation means differences of characters among the individuals of the same species or individuals develop from the same parent. Next one is evolution. Evolution, evolution means it is the study of development of present day organisms from their ancestors. That means the present day organisms, all these organisms are developed from primitive art condition through a gradual modification process. This modification process is called as evolution. Or otherwise, you may call it as the study of phylogeny or phylogenic development of organism. What is phylogeny? Phylogeny is the study of ancestral history of an organism. That means the study of development of present day organisms from their uh, primitive ancestor. Next one is. Embryology. Embryology means this branch deals with the study of development of individual from a single cell zygote. That means the development of embryo. Embryo is a stage between the development of single cell zygote to the development of fetus or embryo. Embryology is otherwise known as, it is otherwise called as the study of ontogenic development. Ontogenic development means the process of development of and uh, development of embryo from a single cell zygote. What do you mean by zygote? Do you know about sexual reproduction? If you see in case of sexual reproduction, sperm and ovum. Suppose this is the ovum, structure of ovum or this is the structure of sperm. The sperm encounter with the ovum and form a cell, diploid cell. This diploid cell is called as zygote. From this zygote, through the viral processes uh, such as morula formation of blastula, then gastula, then this gastula convert to an embryo. And this development is called as ontogenic development. 
and the study of this ontogenetic development is called as embryology next one is taxonomy taxonomy means this branch includes the includes the study of three things identification then classification and then nomenclature of an organism what is identification if you see an cow suppose you you observe a cow and then you call it as cow not you call it as elephant why because there are some external characters which you have distinguished and the process of distinguish distinguishing this or uh, animal is called as identification in this branch first organisms are it may be animal or it may be plant are uh, yeah, generally identi first identified on the basis of its external characters then these organisms are grouped into a framework on the basis of similarity and dissimilarities of characters this is called as classification then after classification these organisms are provided with a scientific name and the total process is called as taxonomy next branches is ecology ecology is a branch of fundamental biology which includes the study of interrelationship of organisms with their environment what do you mean by environment environment means our surrounding environment means surrounding and this surrounding from the got biotic and abiotic components and these biotic and abiotic components has an influence on each organism therefore ecology is the study of interrelationship of all kinds of organisms with their surrounding environment all these are some important fundamental branches next we study or discuss about applied branches uh, we classify it as applied geology and applied botany first applied botany <coughs> applied botany there are lots of branches in applied botany applied branches means these branches are actually developed on the basis of the knowledge of the fundamental branches and these branches are developed for human welfare the knowledge is taken from the fundamental branches then this knowledge uh, is modified and develop different kinds of branches for human welfare i give some example uh, of applied biology no uh, sorry applied botany the first you see microbiology 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 means this branch deals with the study of all the microbes or microorganisms microorganisms means organisms which are not observed by naked eye that means these are microscopic therefore this branch is called microbiology microorganisms includes virus bacteria uh, certain algae certain fungi etc next you see virology this is a specific branch of microbiology it is related to microbiology virology means study of virus all kinds of virus there are all kinds of activities next
bacteriology bacteriology is the study of bacteria all kinds of bacteria next one is mycology mycology is the branch of applied botany uh, which deals with the study of fungus fungus or it may, maybe you call it as fungi fungus is the singular form fungi is the plural form or it is otherwise called as phycology also <coughs> phycology next one is anthology anthology is the branch which deals with the study of flowers flower means all kinds of flowers and similar kind of branch there is a similar kind of branch Floriculture. Floriculture is also a branch which is related to flowers, but there is a difference. Anthology means you see, anthology means study of flowers. All kinds of flowers, their types, etc. etc. Their characteristics, etc. And floriculture is a branch of uh, applied botany which specially deals with the study of ornamental flowers. Ornamental flower means decorative flowers. Flowers which generally you observe in gardens or, uh, or utilize in gardening. Next one is <coughs> Pomology. Pomology means study of fruits. Next one is Oliriculture. Oliriculture means study of vegetables. Next, you see silviculture, or it is otherwise known as forestry. This branch deals with the study of forest and forest product. Then another branch is Dendrology. This is the branch which deals with the study of woody plants or wood yielding plants. If you see, there are lots of branches in applied botany. I mentioned just these 10 branches. Next we discuss about applied geology. Applied geology. You see there are some branches about applied geology. <coughs> Suppose you see ornithology Ornitholo ornithology is the study of birds next herpetology herpetology is the study of amphibians and reptiles this branch serpentology serpentology is the study of snakes next one is next another branch is <coughs> B 
Batracology. Batracology is the branch which deals with the study of frogs. Next one is Sorology. Sorology is the branch which deals with the study of lizards. Next, there are different branches also. Suppose <coughs> Melacology. Melacology is the branch of, of uh, applied geology uh, which deals with the study of molas. There is a related branch, another branch. <coughs> Conchology. This branch is related with melacology, but this branch deals with the study of molluscan cells. This branch melacology deals with the study of molluscan species, different types of molluscan species. And conchology deals with the study of molluscan cells. Apiculture, apiculture is the branch which deals with the study of honeybee and their products. Next one is sericulture. Sericulture. Sericulture means this branch deals with the study of sericigenous insect means silkworm. Another branch is Pisciculture. Pisciculture means this is the branch of biology which deals with the study of cultivable Piscian species. That means cultivable fishes in within a proper management process. Next one is this branch is also related with Pisciculture. Fishery. Fishery is a branch of biology which deals with the study of edible and commercially important Piscian and non Piscian species. This is a cult if you see there is a difference between Pisciculture and Fishery. And another branch is also there which is also related. This is Aquaculture. And another branch if you see I have written here Ichthyology Aquaculture and Ichthyology Both these branches are Pisciculture, Fishery, Aquaculture and Ichthyology Both are interrelated But there are little difference. If you see, Pisciculture means it is the branch of biology, uh, branch of uh, applied geology, uh, which deals with the study of cultivable fishes. And fishery means it is the branch of biology which deals with the study of Piscian, that means fish or non Piscian edible species such as prawns, crabs, etc. Then aquaculture is also a branch which deals with the study of commercially important aquatic plants or any other commercially important aquatic species. If you see ichthyology, ichthyology is a branch of biology which deals with the study of fishes, but this, that means this branch in ichthyology this branch deals with the study of distribution of fishes throughout the world, their behavior, their behavior means feeding behavior, reproductive behavior, their distribution throughout the world. Therefore, there is a difference among uh, these branches. There are another several branches. Suppose cardiology.
Cardiology means it is the branch which deals with the study of heart and heart diseases. Nephrology, this branch deals with the study of kidney and kidney related disease. This branch comes from nephro, the word nephro comes from nephron. Nephron is the structural functional unit of kidney. If you see carcinology, carcinology is a branch which deals with the study of carcinogenic agents and their effects which leads to cause the cancer. All these are branches of applied geology. There are lots of branches uh, in applied geology. Next, we move to discuss about fathers of biology. Father or you may call it as founder of biology. Father or founder means the person who developed the specific branch of biology is, regard, uh, is regarded as the founder of or founder of the branch. As for example, if you see Aristotle regarded as the father of geology and Aristotle regarded as the father of biology also and Theophrastus, Theophrastus was regarded as the father of botany. If you see taxonomy, Kerala Serenius was regarded as the father of taxonomy. Taxonomy means overall taxonomy. But another scientist Santapau, Santapau regarded as the father of Indian taxonomy. If you see Mendel, Mendel was regarded as the father of genetics and T.H. Morgan regarded as the father of experimental genetics, Gerard regarded as the father of human genetics and Bettison regarded as the uh, father of modern genetics. If you see the, if you see the evolution, uh, Debris, Debris regarded as the father of mutation and Darwin regarded as the father of evolution. All these, uh, if you see William Harvey regarded as the father of circulatory system, Thomas Edison regarded as the endocrine system, all these individuals are developed these branches. Therefore, they are regarded as the father of or founder of the branches. Now, you have to know about an important topic which is application of suffix in biology. What is suffix? If you know about the suffix, you may easily, you may easily understand, the, understand the technical term of biology. What is that? If you, suppose, if you don't know about the word, if, if you have no idea about the word, but if you know the know about the suffix which utilize in that word then you may easily eh, distinguish the meaning of the word suffix suffix is a word one kind of word and this word is applied in biology to distinguish to distinguish some specific meaning if you you see Suffix, I classified it as two types, pre-suffix pre and post-suffix, pre-suffix and post-suffix, pre-suffix means this word these suffix, these suffix are generally added with the first part of the word and post suffix means these words are added with the last part of the word. 
if you see I give you an example pre suffix suppose a or e this word if this word associated with another word in in their front position or suppose e is added with their front position of the word then it is called as free suffix suppose a a means a or e means absent suppose suppose the word is silomen silomen if we add a it is a pre suffix therefore this word acts like this a silomet a silomet means absence of silom silomet means organism which contain or which bear silom a silomet means without silom suppose e e e means absent that means suppose nucleated that means presence of the organism contain a nucleus or this uh, cell contain a nucleus therefore it is called as nucleated if you e, if you add e in front position suppose e then this word became enucleated enucleated means absence of nucleus these suffix are called as Pre suffix. I give you some another example. Suppose pro. Pro means primitive. U means true. <coughs> pro means primitive. U means true. Suppose pseudo pseudo means false pro means primitive u means true pseudo means false if we add this suffix with another words then what happens you see suppose pro i write down here uh, suppose pro pro plus karyotic equal to pro karyotic pro plus karyotic equal to pro karyotic pro karyotic means karyon means nucleus pro means primitive primitive that means organisms with primitive nucleus suppose i change this term u then I can write u karyotic. U means true. Karyon means nucleus. Therefore, u karyotic means presence of true nucleus. Next is suppose you see pseudo. Pseudo means false. Pseudo plus silomet. equal to pseudo silomet pseudo silomet pseudo silomet means presence of false silom that means it looks like a silom but there is no silom this type of suffix are called as pre suffix now i am to i am now i am going to discuss about post suffix what is post suffix post means this word or uh, the suffix generally added with the end of the word or posterior part of the word if, if you see uh, suppose genesis and lysis 
Zenesis means synthesis and lysis means breakdown. Synthesis and Zenesis means synthesis and lysis means breakdown. If I add this word, like suppose Zenesis Spermatogenesis. Suppose spermatogenesis. From this word, you see there are two words: sperm and genesis. Spermatogenesis. That means synthesis. Genesis means synthesis. That means synthesis or development of sperm. This process is called spermatogenesis. There are lots of examples. Suppose glycogenesis. That means synthesis of glycogen. Gluconeogenesis. That means synthesis of carbohydrate from non-carbohydrate source, etc. That means if, if you see about the word uh, genesis, you have to understand that this process is related to any synthetic process. If you see lysis, lysis means breakdown. Suppose photolysis. Photolysis. Photo means this process is related to light. That means the it is a one kind of breakdown process which occurs in presence of light. Photolysis. Glycolysis, if you see glycolysis. Glycolysis means the word glyco comes from glucose and lysis means breakdown. Glycolysis means breakdown of glycogen. There are uh, several post suffix also in biology. Uh, <coughs> if you understand biology properly, then you have to study the grammar of biology. There are lots of words which are technical words of biology. These words are generally not included uh, under our, our normal dictionary. Therefore, you have to study these technical terms. If you understand these technical terms, then you can easily study the books of biology. Otherwise, it is very difficult to study biology. This is your introductory lesson about biology. If you study and clear this concept, then you have to easily study the biology. Thank you.